Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I had a request to paint some tulips, and honestly, I have a pile of <laughs> bad paintings. Well, I don't know if they're bad paintings, but they just weren't what I was going for. Tulips are not my favorite flower, but I find that sometimes when I do these requests and it's not my favorite flower, that I actually uh, challenge myself to find something I really like about it. So I'm actually gonna try a different type of tulip, a parrot tulip, but not a too frilly one because um, I want it to definitely look like a tulip and help the uh, the person that requested it. So what I'm gonna do is actually, um, this is a technique that is kind of fun. It's really great for loosening up. It is, uh, we're gonna paint everything with water first. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a stem and you'll be able to see if I tip it like where it's shiny so you can you can uh, see I this might be one of those watch it through and then try along with me rather than trying like right off the bat along with me um, and I'm just gonna I'm painting in the two side petals with just water and I hope this will give me a nice fresh looking flower because sometimes I think what it is about tulips um, they tend to be kind of stiff, especially your traditional tulips, and I like a more um, expressive flower. So what we're gonna, what we're doing here is just painting with clear water. Now we're gonna charge in the paint. So if you can see where I'm tipping it, you can see I have two petals on the outside and the stem painted. And then I'm going to grab, um, I think I had cad yellow here, but I think I want to use lemon yellow for this or a cadmium yellow light, a cooler yellow. So you, when you're looking at your yellows, you want one that looks more like um, lemons basically that's kind of the best way to, to describe it really and I'm gonna charge some of that in there and I want some to go up into my flower and I'm gonna grab a little sap green I love that green I use that in almost all my uh, paintings I think such a beautiful now if you end up with a big bead of, of paint there that's not exactly what I want so what I'm gonna do is just drop uh, Wet, dry my brush off on a rag and just kind of drink up all the extra water because that's too much. It's going to leave me with um, with a bloom and it's going to make my paint go where I don't want it. So now I'll just go back in with some more color because I got plenty of water for that to travel. All right, now I want to grab some um, pinky red so you can use a magenta or an alizarin crimson or a rose or one of those colors. And I'm going to add that here along the edges. It's a little bit brighter than what I wanted. I'm going to add it a little bit lighter here and on the edges. Parrot tulips have a more ruffly edge, so if you don't want that, then you can just paint it kind of smooth and you're going to be fine. I just like that. I like the organic expressive lines. I think that's... Um, that's the kind of flowers that draw me because I do love to paint flowers. And I'm just going to add a little detail back there. Now I want to paint some of these petals that are in the middle. This is a fairly closed tulip, so we're not going to be able to see too many of the petals in there. And then I'm going to go back in with this dark color. Now I'm going to leave kind of a little channel, or I'm going to try to leave a little channel of white between the inside petal here and um, the outside petals that I've just painted give it a little bit of a darker, give the petals a little bit darker color in the middle here. And maybe do a little bit darker of a petal back here. I feel very mellow. I've just been kind of chilling out, painting in my studio today. My kids kind of have been filtering through. You know, they'll come, they'll paint for a little bit, and then they'll go away and go play in the yard, and they'll come back and paint a little bit. It's kind of one of those nice, uh, relaxing days after a week of running around. All my kids have been in various camps this week. My son just got back from week-long Boy Scout camp, which is, oh, <laughs> it's funny. One of the parents said, I didn't know you wore you wore tan socks. You brought tan socks to camp, and the kid's like, they're white. <laughs> I don't think any of them took a shower. Or, I don't know, maybe not even brush their teeth. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. They have a good time. My son assures me he did brush his teeth. I think it's probably just to save my sanity. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, so there's those petals. I'm just adding a little bit of damp, my damp brush back there, just to um, make that kind of kind of spread a little bit. And um, you can add a little bit of sap green into the petals because with the parrot tulips, a lot of times you see that. I think what I want to do though is maybe add it into an area where I don't quite have so much other paint. Maybe in a little bit in here. A little bit right in there on the edge. 
and maybe just add a little bit up here above the petal so it can kind of bleed in but not get completely muddy go back in with a little bit more sap green there i just posted on my facebook page that uh i had a desk full of botched tulip paintings so this is hopefully the one that's going to uh be usable i like to put a little green in the bottom too a lot of times tulips they kind of that color kind of follows the flower up now i want to put um i'm going to put a leaf here when they have some kind of big big stocky leaves and i want it kind of curl they tend to curl over so you can sometimes see the inside and the outside of the leaf and the outside is going to be more darker green and the inside will be um, a little lighter and i actually want this to maybe go right over that stem so i'm just kind of pulling that over there and i'm going to wet this part and drop in some color i didn't put a background in here but i can always do it later if i feel like it needs it so i'll go in with a sap green and just throw that in there i've had my uh, door open all day and uh, there's a fly that's been buzzing around <laughs> my table maybe he's fooled by all the tulip pictures those old uh look at those old rococo uh, paintings and they always have like those elaborate parrot tulips and they usually always have a fly you know on them somewhere so it's kind of like maybe they were just <laughs> maybe the flies were just attracted to the paintings you ever think of that all right so then i think i'll do the inside a little bit more yellowy so i'm gonna take that same yellow that i've been using and mix it right in with some of that color i'm gonna leave a little channel just because i don't want everything bleeding together so we'll leave a little bit of a channel there and we'll go right fill in the rest of that space with that same yellowy green i'm going to leave a little bit of a channel there too for now i can always go back in and fill it in if i want to i don't know if i will though i kind of like this immediate um vivid color all right i want to add a little more depth to some of those colors up there so i'm gonna go back in with that um magenta color i was using a crimson whatever you're using and just go in and deepen my color up here add any details i want i can um you can always turn your paper so it's a little bit more uh convenient for you i just want to throw in maybe a few just little veins you can always drag it around with a credit card if you want to or use a tinier brush I'm trying not to get fussy. I think that's what I didn't like about all the other attempts was that I was really fussy with it and it was not, I don't like that look. I don't like the look of the fussiness. I want to throw a little bit of this red down here. I just feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, something. Something's a little dull over here. I think it's because I'm just using that green on its own. So I'm going to put some red right there on the edge. And then maybe add a little bit of green into it just to make it seem a little bit more believable. And then I'm gonna sign my name and maybe throw a few, well, maybe throw a few splashes on it first. I do this and then I wonder why am I why is my computer covered in paint? And why is everything why is my table all painty? Well, oh yeah. It's usually my computer because I'll be like watching a Netflix or have Pandora on or something and I forget to move it before I uh, begin. Oh, and I hear kids coming down the stairs. Well, that's it. I'm just gonna sign my name and I'll do that right now. Just L M W. This is just a little greeting card, so I don't have to do anything else to it, and it is done. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.